Well, tonight, major trouble on the new Green Line extension. Miles of tracks will need to be completely redone. This might be the most embarrassing development for the T that we've seen. The Green Line extension cost billions of dollars to complete. The ribbon cutting ceremony was less than a year ago. And yet inspectors have found defects across five miles of tracks. WBZ's Brandon Chua shows us what happens next. The T's general manager confessed he just recently learned of the full extent of the issues here. Miles worth of tracks installed too close together, and now they're working on a plan to fix it. Trains full of commuters arriving at the new Union Square stop of the Green Line. It's part of the $2.3 billion extension. It's been open less than a year, and now this. I do have sufficient information. MBTA General Manager Philip Ng Thursday saying miles of track on the extensions was installed too close together. They're off by an eighth of an inch. The goal is to make sure now that we're aware of this situation that they're addressed timely, addressed properly. Um, so these situations not continue to repeat. Ng says this impacts about half of the Union Square line, about 80% of the Medford Tufts line. He says gauges that hold the tracks to the wooden rail ties were pre-installed incorrectly by the construction company. Even worse, Ng admits MBTA leadership knew about this as early as April of 2021, but continued with construction anyway. It really shows uh, how during the past administration, the, the, the culture of of austerity and and the, the culture of, of not having accountability. This is something that happened under the prior T administration. It happened last year. This line, the Green Line extension, opened even though senior T officials, it appears, knew that there were some issues, didn't disclose that, didn't address that. Governor Mara Healy assuring taxpayers they won't foot the bill for these fixes. Commuters eager to hear the plan to fix this while minimizing impacts to service. One would think they would have thought it through a little bit before they built it, um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, so it goes. Everything's always under construction. And Ng says repairs should take weeks, not months, but it's unclear when they might start. He also says that the tracks are still safe to operate trains and for commuters to ride on. He just wants to get ahead of the problems before they get worse. In Somerville, Brandon Chua, WBC News. All right, Brandon, thank you. An alarm.